Chapter 4 Bullet for Susan Oh, okay, that might be the pest control her neighbor was talking about. Is this their flat? Or is this like a different house altogether? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's getting busy in there. Oh boy. Now oh, there she is. I've slept all night and most of the day. That's right, I think you needed still it. Still feeling tired. Someone's huh? at the door. I really hope it's not him again. Well, I don't blame you. But first things first. All right, another flawless save and load. All right, somebody's somebody's banging on our door. I'm ignoring all this stuff. I don't even know if I should be. Oh, who's this? Hello, Miss Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Do I know you? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt met a few days ago? You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. You probably had one too many, mind you. Oh, so she's the girl that saved us. Alright, so it's you. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I'll let her stand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but I had other reasons for it, too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Okay. Uh, why? Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. I, oh, okay, she wants to be our I roommate. Still print that. It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But you've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise and I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry, but I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. 
What do you think? Do we have a deal? I think no. you should take it. I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great! Can I come in? Alright, so we got our, our, I guess, our flatmate. Alright, you said you were my daughter? You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? I Jesus, think... what's wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, what's wrong with throat? you? Are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you. Would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. <laughs> well, I died in the hospital. Well, I died in that hospital, if you must know. Oh. But not for long enough. It seems I must have been too attached to this shitty life I lead, and must suffer some more before I can rest. Jesus, Miss Ashworth. Why all this negativity? What in the world has made you think this way? Clearly the only thing you suffer is some nasty depression. N Not that it's no, it's a little more than that. But have you tried talking about it to a doctor? Yes. Oh, you have, have no clue. Did it help? Not at first. But, yeah, it did. Alright, so, how'd you get in? How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it, probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. Of course you did. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. I see. But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. You know, it's very possible. Yes, it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. It was incredible. See, even the cats didn't like want her to die. Howling. Then for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. <laughs> I... You could say I had a hunch. A hunch? Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? Alright, spare room is pretty bad. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy so, there yeah. who rats. You should see him. Wait, can yes, you... Yes, the cat lady and the rat man. The sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel, then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos. And rats. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's alright. <laughs> His and name's Robbie. Alright, why? Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city centre, and there are only two buses going through here. And that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? 
people, just people. Yeah, the I other don't tenants. Give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? Shower. All right, you'll change your mind. I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I love to see it, and I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck, and it doesn't shut properly. It's all right. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Fine. <laughs> I give up. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Yeah, get your new roommate. the spare bedroom. I was going to decorate it so I could rent it out, but I never got around to it. This room is perfect. Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you, but most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain, and a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and somewhere to watch, too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Hmm. There you go. Are you emo? Are you a part of that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. No, oh, no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Okay. Clearly a sensitive subject for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're poor for emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black too. Of course. That's because black is the best color. <laughs> Period. There you go. Alright, uh, there we go. References. Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so... Not really. I've lived with my mum all my life. Until recently, that is. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post up there. Um, yeah, sh sure, that'll be okay. I'm trying to change the subject. Alright, personal reasons or trouble? Oh, personal you mentioned reasons. some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... Friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so... I don't know what he looks like. I love this lamp. Does it work? What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him said something really bad, something horrible. I need to talk to him to get closure, you know? Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Alright, well, let's see if she's in trouble. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? A scar across the face, an eye patch, rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate you just <laughs> described. Just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Well, not, not yet. Anyway. Uh, you know, you've yeah. been asking me all these questions and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. 
I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Hmm. No offense. You're out of line. Long story. Let's go with that one. Long story. Long story. I won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha ha ha. Right back at me, I guess. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Just some details. Anyway, I suppose your story is the kind that can't be shortened. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Let's go back to the living room. Room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? Uh -oh. I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? Just slowly back away. What happened? Are, are you alright? Go away! You have to go away right now! But... Why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? Stay away from me. You're not safe here. You're one of them. Um... How about that one? You're not safe here. You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... That's it. Alright, I don't want to jump to conclusions. I don't think she's one of them. But... Probably we're just gonna have to choose all of them, so we'll just yell stay away. Just stay away from me. What? Are you deaf? Did I not make myself clear? This is not a good place for you. Where am I gonna go? It's late and and it's pouring down with rain. I don't give a damn where you go. You can go back to the bloody train station for all I care. Anywhere. Anywhere but here. All right, so you're one of them. I knew you were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm down. I'm not going to do anything to you, all right? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble. Okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, no. 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 <sighs> You're going to die. You're going to die. I know. Oh, she does. Yeah. I know. But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind reading abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I. I don't know how you're going to die. But call it a hunch if you like. It's cool. Hmm. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again.
All right, so I'll be the first one to break the silence. Yeah, she's not doing so well. I'm pretty sure her problem is cancer. And the radiation treatment is, you know, knock all her hair out. But now this is happening. It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream? Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What do you say? Uh, this guy. Should I take a good look at this pussy of yours. Yeah, this guy. There we go. Uh, you're a dead man. You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. I'll cut your throat open and watch you bleed to death. I'll feed your body to the crows. Oh, you're gonna regret this, pal. What's going on in there? Oh, he's not alone, is he? Oh. Who's this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Because if you did, I swear to God. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. Sure. This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. Susan, you come across the, uh, the most interesting I of people. I was just saying that she, she's here for dinner. Good dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. What have you been doing to the cats? You nasty little whore. Trying to seduce my husband in my own home. How bloody rude. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Who, who are you? Who the fuck are you? Shut up, you stupid bitch. I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. Oh, no. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Oh, jeez. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. Kitty. All right, so we're yeah we're in control. All right, cat's gonna come to the rescue. There we go. Oof, yeah. 
Susan's not doing so great. It's alright. Oh, hole. Okay. So I guess we're in the vents. I see my old lady brought the bleach again. Again, okay. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she does that every single time. What do they call it? Trust issues. <laughs> That's it. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. Jeez, thanks. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and... You're in pain, so I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. You'd be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, you know, no pressure. Ah, uh, of course, you can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. <laughs> so I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That, that bullet's meant for you anyway. I'd better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. What was that? You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. Yeah, what a piece of work. Makes us go through all that. And... Never really gave us any... Option. Wait, swallow? Alright, so we got a key. This guy is playing with a... a rifle, maybe? Uh-oh. Okay, can't go that way. Oh, we, I think we gotta wait for the light to get dim. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, maybe it's not the light. There we go. Yeah, we have to wait for him to be looking away. Alright, little shadow kitty. Spit it out. What? Who's this? My eyes. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. A key. Who are you? 
say something. Anything. I... I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. Alright, so now what? Oh, okay, I'm moving around. The gun! That idiot left his gun! Let's take it. No! No, no, no! I dropped it! You're kidding. Where is it? Where the hell is it? I've got it. Alright. Shoot, shoot, well, shoot yourself. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have to break my promise. That's right, you need to refresh. Reload, respawn. You are dead. Death is nothing is all. You have only slipped away into the next room. I am I, and you are you. You don't mind creepy posters? It's your room. You can do what you like with it. But I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and pink unicorns. Did you make these? No. Oh, Downfall. My boyfriend made them. Adventure game. That's the Not other game in the anyway. series. So, Miss Ashworth. I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? Oh, yes. Of course. That's right, so, the rat man. Shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're going to live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Great! I'll bring the wine. Oh, damn. It's one of those bottles with a cork. Have you got a bottle opener, Miss Ashworth? In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses, too? She reminds me of myself when I was younger. I'm not sure if I can fully trust her, but so far she seems genuine. Maybe I'll give her a chance. Or maybe I will give her a chance. Have you found that corkscrew yet? We we'll also need some wine glasses. I don't remember if there was a corkscrew in the, uh, in the last episode. I'm inclined to say there was. Right. Only turn on the lights when you're using the, uh, the room. There it is. Take the corkscrew. We need glasses. Would be the fridge. Not on the cupboard. Where would she keep them? Alright. Off. In the cabinet? Yes. An old cabinet where I keep books, mail, magazine, and wine glasses. I can't remember the last time I used these. I haven't had a drink since Eric. One for me, and one for Mitzi.
Have you found that corkscrew yet? We we'll also need some wine glasses. All right, so I guess what we'll do is give her the corkscrew. Nothing fancy, just an ordinary corkscrew. There you go. Let's get that bottle open. Yeah, but we'll need glasses too. See if you can find some. We're way ahead of you. They're still pretty clean after all these years. I found some wine glasses. All right, that's all we need. Oh, and Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah? I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Well, thank you. We, Very we appreciate that. funny, Mitzi. Oh, no, I mean it. That's fine. But just so you know, I always sleep with my eyes open. Well, out on the cabinet. What are... What our scarecrow. So, the big C. Yeah, cancer. So, the big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumor. Oof. The name is glioblastoma. Huh. Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends, while I disappear down the back exit. How long? He said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh my. Do you want to talk about something else? Hmm. Yeah, let's talk about that guy you're looking for. How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I'm narrowing it down already. Good. Hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Leaves us with just six. Alright, we've narrowed it down further. What else you know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building, and with your help, mark down who lives where? Sounds good to me, Mitzi. Alright, well, no more rain. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that, I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once. 
when I was just nine or ten. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. Well, depending on where girl, it was. you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? Hmm. There we go. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. With this fog approaching fast, you might be in luck, Miss Ashworth. I am so glad I'm not spending another night outside. I might be a big girl now, but there will always be a part of me that is frightened, I guess. Did you know they actually have a name for it? What, the fear of fog? Phobia. Fear of fog. We are living in crazy times, Mitzi. Yeah, tell us about your boyfriend. You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. His name is Jack. He's dead. Fantastic. Oh. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just... I don't know where to start. The beginning is usually the best place. Hmm. Uh, how did you meet? Tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like... Forever. We grew up on the same street. Ah, uh, childhood sweethearts. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. But all luck runs out sometimes. Okay. Uh, how did he die? How did he die? How did he die? I'll get to that, Miss Ashworth. Let me just tell you more about him first, so you could understand what happened. All right, fine. You wanna you wanna choose for me? Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. No, honestly, there is a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious, notice what others can't see you must love my apartment then it's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again all right so how did he know about your cancer how did he take the news about your cancer he thought i was joking at first he laughed he got really angry i swore to him i was serious but he still wouldn't believe me we had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. It was awful. He smashed some stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things. But I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. He 
Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack. And it was destroying him as well. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about. Even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Right, and how did he die? How did he die? How did Jack die? He was so distant in the last few weeks before... Before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. There are those forums online, you know? About all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions. Everything, really. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Jack took the bait. So she's looking for the guy that convinced her boyfriend to kill himself. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the Eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course, but he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I loved most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. I got right there in my bedroom. Before I even left. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. I used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot, but to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. Alright, so I'm in control. And I think we're gonna save. And another flawless save and load. Or, at least time will tell if it was a flawless save and load. Uh, poor Mitzi. Uh. 
well, we're probably going to have to ask all these questions, so I think we'll start with I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is, he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? Oh, so he's like provoking her. Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say don't feed the trolls. Don't talk to them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Well, probably pretty soon at this point. You've already narrowed it down to what building he's in. Alright, there were signs in the window? There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So he posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door. And that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear minds. To prepare for it. To embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close. I can almost smell that fucker. Alright. Uh, what are those two chemicals? What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, after what that woman did to us earlier, I'm gonna guess to Bleach extent, is one of them. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Hmm. I promise not to do it. I've learned my lesson. Or those who will always find a way. Hmm. Um, hmm. I wonder what Susan would say. Well, it's not so much that dying is not for her, it's more that she doesn't get to die anymore. Let's go with that one, I promise. What if I promise to you I will never do it again? Okay. Alright. But if you don't keep your promise, Miss Ashworth, I'll find you in hell and kick your lying ass for breaking my already broken heart. You can't kick my ass when I'm dead. I'll soon be dead too, Miss Ashworth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I swear I will do it. I don't think so. <laughs> You'll go to heaven, you muppet. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Well, now we're back wherever this terrible place is. 
and we still don't know what the ingredients are for that poison cocktail is. Okay, the cat was in here, wasn't it? Okay, we're not going to go upstairs yet. Cat grabber? This is what they use for catching cats. I thought those grabbers were banned some time ago. Like one of those arm grabby things. Okay, let's examine the door. A strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. Oh, that's probably where the guy was, um... Was working with his rifle. Yeah, there he is. Looks like he's asleep. It's a bucket. An empty bucket. Alright, I don't want to get too close to him. Oh, I thought I would climb on its own. Okay. The lamp is on. I can't see a switch for it anywhere. Okay, we won't go upstairs yet. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Yeah. If there's going to be a hidden passage inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Main door. Oh. We got out. Glass on one side of the window is broken. So this is where the draft is coming through. Oh, I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. So that's the window to his, uh, his room. Search the back of the van. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here, though. The oh, through the window I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key somewhere. It's locked. Alright. The door's locked, but I can see he left a phone on the driver's seat. If I could call for help if I got a hold of it somehow. Alright, what if we just leave? Part of the wall is badly damaged. He has probably driven his van into it once. Damaged as it is, I can't quite pull out the bricks with just my fingers. Oh. I don't think the cat grabber is going to do it. We're wandering in the Silent Hill over here. How far does this go? Damn fog, I can't see where I'm going. I wonder if it's just looping the same screen over. I've like got some Lost Woods kind of nonsense going on. I think I'm just walking in circles. Oh. Oh, what was that? There's something in the background that ran by. There's no escape from this place. Maybe I should just get back to the house. Kind of curious to see what happens if we keep going. I mean, I get it. We got to turn around and go back to the house. We got to solve the the puzzles there. We don't get to just leave. All right, that's enough.
All right, so we got some loose bricks. We got a window with a draft. And we got a locked van. How about this lamp? Yeah, no switch. Kitchen. Okay, basement, cellar. They don't make them like this anymore. All I see is the fog. I can never find my way home. Hmm, it's old like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Uh, no, I don't think we're gonna sit. I can hear moving around. Nice lamp. Hmm, nothing happens. It needs a new light bulb. I should look around for one. Nice lamp. I tell you, all that uh, background noise is making me nervous. Cause I don't know if it's just ambience or if it's like one of the one of the other characters moving around. Okay, I'm kind of nervous to check the kitchen, but maybe we can find a weapon. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red wine with your medium rare cat steak. This is where she cooks. Dirty pans still stink of an old cat stew. They're all terribly blunt. Could hardly function as a weapon. Damn. Well, even if we can't use them as a weapon, we might be able to use them for something. Slimy. I don't think she washes up very often. There's blood smear all over it. The door's stuck, but maybe that's better. Not sure I want to know what's inside. Filthy remains of many meals litter the dining table. There's a strong stench of rotten food. Get under? Maybe. Small painting of a street stall at night. Alright, I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but we're taking it. Okay, I'm not in control here. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Oh, okay, back to the balcony. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. Okay, so what are we doing out here now? I feel like I missed something. It's a communal mailbox. It holds old tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All the compartments are locked. Oh, that's the van, isn't it? Bloody fog. Can't 
can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away, and not a soul would notice. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the bright side, they say. And I yeah. always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? <laughs> it's none of your business. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? Oh. A kind man had described to me what you look like. And what, what can I say? He was spot on. What do you want? Wait. I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. Wait, does that mean our neighbor called this guy on us to kill us? There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart. But I'm taking you for a ride. Oof. Alright, well that's how that happened. Probably a nice tea towel once, a long time ago. Now it's just a dirty piece of rag. No, we're gonna take it. I'm just going with adventure game logic, take everything. Must be at least 20 bottles of be bleach in the box. Oh, this... This looks like a terrible place. Is this where they wash? This water looks very odd. Like a mixture of dirt, melted fat, and petrol. Lawnmower. <laughs> What's it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. Yeah, I don't like this... area. There's a corpse in there. There's, oh, there's like a key on its eye. The water is absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me wretch. Ugh. No way I'm putting my hand in the water. The key would have to touch this person too. I've seen many body I've seen many dead bodies in my life, but this one is definitely the creepiest of them all. Um, can we move the plug? No way I'm putting my hand in that water. Besides, it seems the plug is right underneath the dead man's head. Um, The cat grabber. Yeah, come on, use the cat grabber. There we go. I got it. garden shed. I really don't like the look of it. Oh. Let's, uh, let's not hang out here. <sighs> Piles of meat. Could it be human, too? I could probably find something useful on those shelves. But first I need her to go away. Alright, let's leave. Yeah, probably a good thing we didn't go in there. I hope she stays in there. I hope the other guy stays asleep in the uh, basement. There are only bedrooms up there. I should better stick to the ground floor. We got the key, right? It's locked. Yeah, we'll need to use the key. I hope it's the key. Looks like a car key.
Jesus, what a horrible stench. What's this? It seems this idiot does everything his creepy wife from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. So the gas mask will probably protect us from the gas. Or, uh, yeah, the poison gas that Mitzi's going to tell us how to make. Well, you got the key, right? Did you get rid of the key? Oh, you know what? I'll just smash it. I know, thank you. It's the sharpest knife I could find, but it's still terribly blunt. It wouldn't make a good weapon at all. Kind of weird, though. Unlock the back, but smash the front window? An old brick. Quite heavy. No keys in the ignition. I'll have to find another way. It was louder than I thought. I hope no one's heard me. At least now I can take the phone. Alright, well, let's... Let's, uh... Well, let's examine. I hate mobile phones. I never had one myself. But right now it might be useful. The battery's fully charged. All I have to do is dial a number. Alright, let's call. Um, yeah, let's call the police. Police emergency line, how can I help you? My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy! They're going to eat me alive! I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. Of course. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX4422DL, okay? Now please, do something. For God's sake. Calm down, ma'am. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. <laughs> no, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. Yeah, you're right in front of it. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're... They're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog. And I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that is correct? Is he typing this? No, as she's not telling just it? any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mom? What? No, she was no. kidnapped. Did you know this married couple prior to the incident? Are you related? Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help you, Mom. I need to establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. Oh, did you witness cruelty Did you witness animals? it? What? 
mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to animal welfare services for this area. Oh yeah, just pass her off. That, Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. Hello? Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yeah, we're still here. Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged oh, wonderful. from the hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? No, it's not like that. Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. So yeah, can't you pass her off to animal welfare, pass her off to the psych ward, I'm I guess. not fucking crazy. So, that's it. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric <sighs> help, ma'am. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. <sighs> yeah, that sounds about right. So that got us nowhere. Kind of amusing, though. Um... Well, if we call the flat, maybe Mitzi will be there. Oh, no. no, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my You own can't remember number. your own number. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Yeah, well, I guess so. Um, can we maybe call, like, the operator? Oh, no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Alright. Well, we got this window. The glass on one side is broken, so this is where the draft is coming from. Um, can we block it up with the cloth? No idea how to use it here. Trying to get a good look at it. All right. Um. Here's the painting. A small painting of a street stall at night. That should stop the draft in the cellar. All right. They're not going to let us go upstairs. We need, we need light bulbs for this library over here, don't we? Nice lamp. Needs a new light bulb. Well, we've checked everywhere but the shed. I'm not sure how we're going to get her out of that shed. What about these? Can we just... Yeah, remove light bulb. It's too hot. Uh, what if we use the cloth to take it off? That worked. Is it just the one, or can we take both? Let's examine first. 60 watt light bulb. It's cooled down now. Okay. Ooh, a phone book. It looks like they haven't been touched for a long time. 
Maybe they've been left here by the previous owners. What's that? An old phone book. That could be useful, but I'm not sure whose number to look for. Not like I have any friends to call for help. It's from ten years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. Well, find your number. My number's here. I better memorize it. It might come in handy. Oh, there's a phone over here. Old phone. Looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with a number on the base. 01392, so forth. Uh, well, yeah, let's call Susan's flat. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Ms. Ashworth? Oh, okay. Well, we've been kidnapped. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. A parasite, no yeah. miss him. Trust me. The police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... Alright. Uh, what's the other chemical? Just what's tell the me. Other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Oh, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. All right. Uh, well, call the police anyways. You have to call the police. Yes, of course. I will, Miss Ashworth. But wait. What should I tell them? Do you know where you are? No idea. Out of town? Somewhere? Have you tried talking to the police yourself? Yeah. They think I'm nuts. Shit. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do then? I'm going to take care of it myself. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. I heard someone say once. Oh God. Yeah. I wish I could do something. Miserable Anything. woman. Just call them and say that I've gone missing. Maybe they'll put two and two together and actually take Michael seriously at last. All right. I guess that's it. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Right, so we saw we saw something in the shed, didn't we? Gotta figure out how we're going to get her out of the uh, out of the shed, though. I know I can. Could I hide? It sounds dumb, but let's try. We hide under the table. Don't need to hide at the moment. I was thinking... I was thinking maybe we could 
I know it sounds dumb, but I was thinking maybe we could just call the house with the cell phone. And maybe she or the guy in the basement would wake up and come get the phone. Okay, I don't want to sit here too long. Piles of meat. Well, there's something on there. It looks like it's got like a yellow label on a skull. Alright, I've been at this for a while. Hang on. Alright, another perfect save and load. So, I'm gonna try calling the house. Okay, the phone's ringing. Let's get on the table. Alright, there's the creepy nurse. Kind of surprised she can hear the phone from all the way where she is. Alright, quick. Susan, quick, go, go. Okay, let's go as fast as we can, try to make it back to the table. There she goes. So let's examine what we got from her. It says pesticide. Bottle pesticide. The label clearly states danger. Oh. Oh, sounds like she's coming back. Get in the basement quick. Oh, what happened? Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, this goon is still asleep. So that's what the bucket must be for. It stinks of blood and sweat. Okay, we put that on. No, not here. What do you mean, not here? Right there in the bucket. <laughs> and down he goes. Oh, hello. Look what we got. Let's go find his wife. We don't know exactly what's going on here. This garden shed. Really don't like the look of it. Okay, she's not in here. So maybe we get to go upstairs now. Oh, hello. Oh, okay.
good riddance to another miserable monster. You know what I've seen? Do you know where I've been? I've been for the broken machine. Makes me think of Hunk from Resident Evil. <laughs> 